Mr. Mats Larsson, a professor and member of the Nobel Prize Physics Committee. Could you please explain this year's prize? Uh, I just first want to say that in order to study very fast processes, you need something which is similar fast. I mean, every, I think everybody knows this. If you want to take a picture with a camera and you're trying to take a picture of something moving very fast, you have to have the shutter very quick. And it's the same now in the physics world. The electrons are very fast. And the electrons are really the workhorse in everywhere. In our bodies, and the electrons are controlling all chemical reactions. They are, of course, also very important in gadgets like this that we all have. And uh, so once you can control and understand electrons, you have taken a very big step forward. And what these three laureates have been, they have been breaking through the fundamental barrier in measuring time. The fundamental, and because if you want to produce light, it's very short. In the visible region, there is a certain limit to how short light you can produce. You have to go to shorter lengths, and this is exactly what they have demonstrated. Once you have this technique and technology, uh, you can start first to think about fundamental processes. Take an atom and then you ask yourself, if I remove an electron, uh, depending on how tightly it's bound to the atom, will it be emitted with the same speed independent of how tightly it's bound? And the answer here has been no. It's a time difference, say 20 up to seconds, which is an extremely short time difference. So it is the at a second. The upper second and the upper second is related to the second with the same ratio as a second is related to the age of the universe expressed this that's mind blowing yeah, that's mind blowing and what how will this new research affect our lives do you think for the moment i don't think it will affect it very much but i think in the future it will and the uh, examples that we talked about, we heard at the press conference here, uh, and in the end mentioned the semiconductor industry. We have the molecular fingerprinting, that I think, that is presently being developed very successfully in Garching in Germany by one of the laureates, Felix Knauss. And, uh, and what is that good for? What is that good for, the fingerprint? The molecular fingerprinting is about uh, finding out if you have a change in your blood center, because that change, very minute change, very sensitive, if you can find these changes and, and identify it to be caused by a disease, that's a big advantage, because this means that you have a sensitive method that can detect the disease at a very early stage, for example, lung cancer. So this is something you can do with the attoseconds? Yes. You have the attosecond technology, which gives you this sensitivity, correct? Could you tell us something about this year's laureate, something personal? Yes, uh, I know, of course, Anne Dullier, uh, because we are, we are colleagues in physics, it's not a big community in Sweden, so we never collaborated. Uh, but I remember very distinctly uh, a visit I did, did to Harvard. Uh, I was there for a conference, she was there for a different conference, and we just met on the street and she said, we are now very soon to break through and produce up to second passes. That I remember. Right here. Uh, yes. What did she say when she got the call? When she got the call? Well, uh, yes, she was busy teaching. <laughs> so first we couldn't get a hold of her. So we had to call her husband. He's also a physicist. Uh, uh, so, uh, and he explained to us, no, she's teaching. She will have a break at uh, 11 o'clock or something. And then we could reach her. And, uh, but then she had to go back to teaching again, so we couldn't make it a very long call. She was, um, she is very ded dedicated to the teaching and she doesn't leave students just like that. Three laureates to this year's physics prize. Yeah. If you would say yourself in 30 seconds, what is the most exciting thing about this year's prize to you? Uh, to me, I think the most exciting thing is that they, over a very long period, have been working very hard, both to understand the fundamental physics and then to develop the technology to break through and to really open the world of electrons, the, really the workhorse for all of us. 
which we never had access to, to earlier. Now we have access. That's fantastic. We can study electron dynamics in atoms, molecules, and in uh, condensed matter, and uh, understand in a totally different way how things work. A new world. And a, a new and world. It's definitely a new world. Definitely a new world. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Professor Thank Mats Larsson, a member of the Nobel Prize Physics Committee. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.